In terms of the home front, they were seeing the casualties, but they probably had no real idea of what their loved ones were going through. Well, I'm not sure that's the case. I wonder. I mean, there are people writing back, and, the, and all right, letters are censored. Um, but the casualty lists are still there in the papers. They are published, and you can't escape that. Uh, so, uh, and even if they're not being told what precisely it's like, people will think the worst. And in some ways, if I mean, and you, you get these stories of, of people writing back and saying, uh, your husband was you know killed. Uh, he was shot through the head, died you know um, instantly. Um, uh, you know, uh, and you, these and all the, you get lots of reports of deaths which are clean and and uh, clearly it wasn't like that in, in many ways. But whether people believe that because it suited them to believe that, or they worried about it, I think it varies from family to family. And I think nobody, nobody was persuaded by, let's say, even the end of 1915, and certainly by the end of 1916, that this was a nasty exercise, and there was really not much to write home about, about the Western Front. And how about the experience of troops at the front line? I mean, we, we've seen various cultural representations over the last 50 years, uh, which would describe a certain way of, of life in, in the trenches. But I mean, you were saying earlier that some people jo who joined up did actually enjoy the experience. Oh, well, of course. Well, there's a sense. Um, well, all I can do, I mean, I could give you, a, again, it's kind of family view. Uh, uh, one of my great uncles is wounded uh, back in, in the, in the um, uh, late 1917, and his letters to the front, uh, to friends of the front have survived. And he's saying, I'm mustard keen to get back again. You know, I can't leave you there. I mean, even Wilfred Owen, who writes all that war poetry about how terrible it all was, was desperate to get back to the front. And he wasn't desperate to get back to the front because he liked it, because he felt it was his duty, and he'd be letting down his colleagues. So there's that sense. There is the sense, too, of doing really important stuff. These are life and death issues. Um, and if you fail somehow um, uh, you will never live with yourself. You find people you know, worrying about why have they been you know, saved or why have they survived and their friends haven't survived. And that it embeds a kind of commitment um, uh, to see the thing out. Now, whether it's right or not, or whether the methods they use are right or not, the, the, the kind of steadfastness of troops, Irish, British, German, and French, is astonishing.